All right, so these are all the sets I have. Um, these are lie. These two did not come together, okay? I actually bought this shirt, which is a cute halter top. That caught myself in a lie already, okay? It's a cute halter top with a marijuana plant on the front. And then I also got the pants to match it. Now, I got the pants to match it because... They didn't come with a pair of pants, and I was like, I need a set. It has to be a set. So it's these cute little animal print pants. <laughs> but that set was cute. I bought everything in a large, like I said before. Swimsuits are in a large. Everything in this haul is a large. So the next thing I got that I paired into a set that was not originally a set was this cute white baby bodysuit. Then I got these very, very cute. They're kind of see-through when you don't have them on. Like, I can see through them. You can't. But these pants here, they're flared. They have a slit in the front. So you can show off some of that thigh, girl. Show off that leg. They're nice and colorful. I picked these colorful pants because I'd never owned a pair of pants this colorful before. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone buying the things that I've been buying. And I don't regret it at all. I feel like this fit is super cute. You can pair it with any pair of shoes. You could do sandals, you could do heels. Um, as you can see in the video, I believe I paired them with a pair of sandals comfortable cute it's perfect for any kind of occasion a date night family event you know run into the store to do errands whatever the case may be that outfit is definitely comfortable is this cute top and it comes with the detailing and the straps that match the pants here are the pants the set is so cute the pants are super soft they don't have pockets i wish they did but they don't so next is this pajama set it's just a cute gray pajama set comes with pants the top doesn't come with adjustable straps even though i wish it did it <laughs> it doesn't but it's cute and comfortable it's great to wear around the house so the next set is this cute checker print outfit it reminds me of a picnic table but it's in black and white comes with a pair of shorts this is the shirt okay i'm not even bsing you you have to tie it on you have to tie the shirt on You gotta tie it on, which don't bother me none, cause I know how to do all this. It don't don't bother me none at all. Next outfit is this cute, cute, cute. What's the word I'm looking for? What is it called? I'm having a brain fart. Camouflage. <sighs> this cute camouflage set it comes with a pink halter top, and then it comes with these pants. And I know they, you, when I looked at the picture, I thought that they were going to be made like cargo pants, bruh. These are sweatpants. They joggers, they like joggers. See the ends? They're joggers. Which, I was shooketh when I tried them on. I was like, oh, these are joggers? <laughs> comfortable as heck. Like, I would wear this around the house just because it's so comfortable. Next set is an all black set. It looks like a workout set. I thought it was cute. I've seen a few people wear it and i thought that it would be cute and comfortable super soft material um once again in a large the top is crop top and it comes with like these trumpet sleeves so the sleeves are really big and then the zipper comes down in the middle so you have the choice of showing a little bit of cleavage a whole lot of cleavage or none at all next up is dresses so the first dress is this white one she is bodycon tight ribbed and extremely see-through like i wouldn't recommend you wearing this to the club unless you have or out unless you have like a slip underneath or you're planning to wear this over top of your bathing suit it's very very see-through like i didn't try it on in this video just because it was so through see-through and i had no way to kind of like cover the fact that it was see-through so this is it then i got this cute romper it's a halter romper. It comes with the strings. And this is what it looks like. It's like a burnt red. It's not even a brown. It's like a burnt red. The material was nothing of what I expected. I thought it was going to be more silky. It's more like a windbreaker material. 
eh, I was disappointed at first, but the longer I wore it, the more I was like, that's actually comfortable. So this is a dress. It is a mustard yellow dress, rib material once again. Don't ask, I'm obsessed with rib material. I know the dress looks huge, but it really isn't. It's just, it's in my hands. This dress is nice. I love mustard yellow, especially on melanin, especially on my skin when I get tan. Ooh, that mustard yellow beauty. All right, let's get into the next, the next, the next. Next up is another, I got a lot of uh, like halter top pop pieces just because I want to show more of my back. So this is a halter top dress. It's all black, super long. It has a slit in it. The slit comes up to like mid thigh, but this is the dress. It's how long she is. It's a very, it's a thick material, but it's not heavy. Um, I picked out this really cool t-shirt dress. I probably should have sized down in my t-shirt dresses only because they're a little big. But then I thought about it and I was like, it's a t-shirt dress, not a bodycon dress. So it's meant to be big. It's meant to hang off you a little bit. So I got this one with an alien on it, petting the kitty. I don't really care for cats, but that's cool. It didn't have a dog on it. So it says warmth and it's just a big t-shirt dress. It is a very nice material, soft. It's tie-dye. If you know me, you know I love me some tie-dye. Hippie at heart this dress this dress has all kinds of like witchy stuff on it it has it has all kinds of witchy stuff but i thought it was cute and different this one has a slit in it also the slit isn't as high as the most previous dress but this is what she looks like okay so we're down to the last few items everything that i'm getting ready to show you guys came separately i just happened to pair them to make them an outfit and I thought it would be easier to do it that way than to just give you one piece at a time. So we're just going to jump right into that. So this is the first outfit. It's this cute orange shirt. Okay. And it has like the tie in the front so that you can either tie it like this or tie it around your neck. And then I paired it with these cute black jeans. They have the fraying at the bottom. The best part about these jeans are the flames in the back. I thought that was super dope. Um, I don't see many people with it. So I thought that I would make it into an outfit and make it swaggy next on the list is this black dress I know it looks like it wouldn't wear it anywhere but it's a black dress okay and it's supposed to come right underneath your your bust line and then it it's down low so you wear a shirt under it the shirt makes the top part of the dress I got this shirt here which just says thank you enjoy I believe it has some Japanese architect if I'm wrong, you correct me. I don't know if it's Chinese. I don't know if it's Vietnamese. I don't know what it is. I just know that I thought it would go great. And it did. It made a very cute pair. You can style it up. You can dress it down. I happened to dress it down and put some Vans on. I wore Vans with half of these outfits. Vans are comfortable. Next up is this pink shirt. It's a halter top shirt. I wore this pink shirt for two different pants because I didn't have any more shirts from Shein. And I didn't really want to use my own shirt since I already, my old shirt since I already did that. So this is the top. So it looks like. First pair of pants I um, styled it with what is these here. These are some ripped jeans with some bleaching on them. The back looks the same. Then I paired it with these denim jeans too. I paired that same pink shirt with these denim jeans. And these jeans may look like um like they're messed up but they're actually made like this to where these first three buttons I think or two buttons first two buttons you can't button them at all they're made to be unbuttoned like that and then you see the belt loop comes all the way down this is what the back looks like they're very simple I know everything looks huge but as you watch the video you'll see everything fits perfectly next up is another halter top halter top this one you can actually tie up around your waist. That's what this lace here is for. So I paired this with a pair of pattern uh, biker shorts. These shorts are like daisies. I thought they were sunflowers. I got them to go with something else, but they weren't the same pattern. So I snooze, I lose, I guess, situation. So these are the first pair of shorts that I paired them with. Super stretchy. I accidentally ordered two pairs of these. So I gave the other pair to my brother's girlfriend because that's my boo and we wear the same size. So I gave it to her. 
and I also paired that top with another pair of black pants these just have some ripping in them some fraying in the back unlike my other black shorts these don't have any decals on the back but I might add some you never know doesn't hurt to spruce up some jeans so those are the two pair of pants I paired that top with and and these are regular pair of denim shorts I paired these with a tank top I owned I believe it was a white or a tan one you'll see in the video when I put it in I just paired it with a tank top something simple this is like the most basic of basic shorts and these are really stretchy too I paired this pretty olive green top. Oh, I hate when it unfolds. You can't see the real. Oh, we're just going to do it like this. This pretty olive green top. I paired this with a skirt. I feel like it could be paired with shorts if you wanted to, but I felt like the skirt just went best. This is just a regular pencil skirt. It has two slits in the front. A zipper in the back so that you can zip it up and once again everything is stretchy this outfit is cute I would probably pair it with some heels or some sandals depending on where I'm going hi Sage you gonna be part of the video say hi to the people no no hi to the people Ew, why you always gotta lick me? Okay, bye. She be sitting there looking at me like, let me up, let me up. She doing it again. No. Last but not least, I have just two denim shorts. These denim shorts, I once again paired them with a tank top I already own. It's just these here. It's just these here, and they are like uh, hemmed at the bottom with some fraying. The back is just normal. And then last but not least, this video took so long to do. This is the last item, y'all. Last and final item. These cute daisy shorts. Let me button them up so you can see all of the daisies. Stop. These cute daisy shorts. I think I paired this with a white tank top. Um, initially when I bought it, I was like, that looks kind of childish. Like, where are you going in that? And then when I got it, I was like, okay, the daisies aren't on the back. So it's just in the front. It's very springy you can pair it with anything and you know it'll still be fly you could probably get a white pair of bands a nice white bodysuit and wear it that way you probably get a yellow shirt and wear it that way it all depends on your style preference <sighs> and that is the last item thank you for watching my video if you are new please don't forget to hit the subscribe button also don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications whenever I post a new video if you are already subscribed thank you for coming back and watching our videos we greatly appreciate it um, I will be posting new videos every Monday and Friday that's kind of gonna be the routine for right now uh, I might change it up eventually not sure yet but um, that's it until next time peace